Good morning. At the outset, I, on behalf of Hing College, welcome you all to the national webinar on job placement and entrepreneurship, organized by Department of Botany in association with IQSC Hing College and Eco Club Hing College. Respected Dr. Biman Hajurika, Principal Hing College, Chief Guest of today's webinar. Professor Manoj Ranjan Sinha, Vice Chancellor, Netaji Shubhas University, Jamshedpur, Jharkhand, and Honorable Resource Person, Dr. Avdesh Kumar Srivastav, HOD, Department of Botany and Microbiology, Government, DT, PG College, Uttai, Durg, Chhattisgarh. Esteemed participants of this national webinar, my colleagues, and my dear students. I once again welcome you all to this national level webinar on job placement and entrepreneurship. Now, I request our principal sir, Dr. Biman Hajarika, to inaugurate the uni uh, webinar. Okay, sir, please. Good morning. Namaste. Esteemed participants, welcome you to our webinar hosted by the Department of Botany in association with IQAC and Eco Club in College. The topic of this seminar is job placement and entrepreneurship. I, on behalf of Jing College family, heartily welcome today's chief guest, Professor Manuj Ranjan Sinha, Honorable Vice Chancellor Netji Shubhas University, Jharkhand, and Dr. Audesh Kumar Srivastav, HOD, Department of Botany and Microbiology, Government DTPG College. Uttarigarh, Chhattisgarh, who acts as resource persons. And I extend my heartfelt thanks to our host of the Shet webinar, Sanjeev Kumar Nath, Associate Professor, Department of Botany, and Professor Anju Deka, HOD Department of Botany, for organizing the webinar on a most important and burning topic of today's India. Entrepreneurship. The webinar is all about entrepreneurship, job and placement. The webinar is about the skills and ones developed during the course of time due to COVID-19 pandemic, which affects our world far and wide. It will give us a brief idea that how our resume are our reflections and will give a lot of knowledge about the job opportunities in the technical and non-technical fields. While academics are the mainstay of educational system, it is equally imperative to look at it from the long-term perspective of building a career to support the learning. This is what we aim to assist each student through the webinar in exploring placement opportunities by organizing various programs. This helps and uh, the, the, our students in securing their dream jobs. In addition to this, we also promote 
entrepreneurship and safe starting environment to the students and keep motivating them towards innovations and development. Our government, the government of India, central government, state governments, other stockholders are now arranging different type of entrepreneurship skills development program. One of the important program is the Ministry of Skill Development Entrepreneurship. We can enabling we can we can enabling framework to facilitate job creations and entrepreneurship as well as attract private investment. Steps are also being taken to attract foreign direct investment and get up called manufacturing board. The other program, the Pradhan Manti Kosal Vikas Jana is MSG's flagship scheme to enable young Indians to take up skills training and improve their employability. National Apprenticeship Training Center training scheme, Dindal Upadhyaya, Brahmin Kosal Jujana, National Urban Livelihood Missions, and the National Rural Livelihood Missions, the National Career Service, launched by the Ministry of Labor and Employment, aims to provide job matching services in a transparent and user-friendly manner. Right now, I would like to say two lines regarding our institution. Jean College is located in the northwestern part of Nauru district, and it is established. It was established in 1965, and uh, I would like to say one line. This is the month of Bhadra. This is the most holiest month uh, in Assamese calendar. And our great Guru Srimanta Shankardeva was born nearer to our, us, very nearer to our college, only seven kilometers far up from our place. And one line I should utter here that Miss Hima Das, the ace sprinter who excels in the field of track and field, is an student of our college. And some of our alumni have excelled in different fields in different arena and established in different establishments. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would, uh, we would be very happy to uh, offer this platform to our most distinguished participants, distinguished guests of honor and distinguished research persons and esteemed participants who have joined from different walks of life, different institutions uh, spread all over India and Northeastern region. Thank you. And my, uh, at the end, I would like to hand over my microphone to our host, Dr. Sandeep Nath. Please, Sandeep. Thank you, Dr. Viman Hadilka, Principal Jim College. Now, we will straight away start the first session. And the first session, we have got our chief guest, Professor Manoj Ranjan Shina. Before his presentation, I would like to introduce him before you. It's my great privilege to introduce our chief guest of this national webinar. As most of you have already known, the chief guest, Professor Manoj Ranjan Sinha, is serving as the vice chancellor of Netaji Subhash University, Jamshedpur, Jharkhand. Professor Manoj Ranjan Sinha, a gold medalist in BSc Botany Honors and MSc Botany from Rachi University, he served as HOD, Department of Botany, Jamshedpur Cooperative College, and he then served as the principal of Jamshedpur Cooperative College. He was the proctor and head of department of Polhan University, Jharkhand. Presently, he is the vice chancellor of Netaji Subhash University, Jamshedpur, Jharkhand. He has many research papers in national and international journals. He has many PhD scholars who has been awarded PhD and still various scholars are working under his supreme guidance. He is a perfect teacher in two sets. 
His many students are in Indian Administrative and Bihar Administrative Services. Professor Sinha has extensive experience of education and public policy. The keenness of his mind and the strong understanding of education as a policy maker. Professor Sinha's contribution to the education are very much valued and needed. It is my honor now to invite the honorable chief guest to address us and to launch the webinar. So before uh, launch, uh, launching the webinar by Professor Sinha, I would have, uh, I would like to uh, give an announcement uh, for the participants that if you have any queries or if you have any questions, please uh, write it in the chat box. So now I request Professor Shinha to give his lecture. Sir. Hello, 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 Dr. Sanjeev. Am I audible? Hello, Dr. Sanjeev, am I audible? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir, I you are audible. Yes, sir, you are audible. Please put on my slide. Show my slides. First slide. My video is a stop. My video is a stop. Yes. It's not audible. Please, please put the slides on. Slides. Okay, sir. Hello. Okay, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. It's audible. You can start. Ah, okay, but but show me the slides, please. I am not able to. I am not able to see my slides. Slides, please. My video is just stopped. Sir, you can't see, sir. My video is just stopped. So please show me the slides. Shivastav sir, hello. Hello. Sir. Yes, sir. Ah. 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 Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My video is stopped. Uh, <clears throat> it is written here. Yes, Your sir. video is stopped. Uh, 
सर आप एक काम कीजिए आपको दिख रहा है आप मैं और लिंक दे रहा हूँ यूट्यूब में उसमें आप ये कर दीजिए उसमें मिल जाएगा अब देश क्या करना है सर वो यूट्यूब से जोड़ रहे हैं आपको अच्छा इसी स्क्रीन पर आ जाएगा ना जी 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 अब वेट करें इसी स्क्रीन पर मोबाइल है सब में साथ मोबाइल ही तो यूज कर रहे हैं हाँ सर मैंने YouTube का ये दे दिया सर लिंक दे दिया सुना सर आप बट आई एम आई एम यूजिंग माई मोबाइल सर आप एक बार वो YouTube में डाल दीजिए YouTube का ये मैंने लिंक भेजा उसमें दे दीजिए इसको डिस्कनेक्ट कर दें हाँ डिस्कनेक्ट कर दे यूट्यूब में ये चलने दीजिए ना मोबाइल लेट लेट इट लेट इट गो ऑन बिकॉज एटलीस्ट आई एम ऑडिबल ठीक है आप YouTube खोल के वहां से देख देख के बोलते रहिए हम प्लेस करते जाएंगे अवधेश हेलो सर अवधेश अवधेश हेलो हाँ सर हेलो अवधेश कैन आई स्पीक टू अवधेश हेलो हेलो हाँ आप यूट्यूब लिंक में जाइए सर वो करके हेलो हाँ तो अभी अभी क्या डिस्कनेक्ट कर दें इसमें से डिस्कनेक्ट कर दें ट्यूब में चले जाए हाँ यूट्यूब में जाके आप बताते रहिए उसमें तो आपको मिल जाएगा सर नहीं आप अवधेश से मेरी बात कराइए ना हेलो हाँ सर मैं लाइन पे हूँ सर अवधेश जी तुम तुम भेज तुम भेज दो ना वो वाला मैं मिनके भाभी के फोन पर भेज दो हम उससे देख के बोलते जाएंगे इससे तो ऑडिबल है ना सर ये श्रेयस बात करेगा हाँ हेलो हाँ हेलो श्रेयस बोलो हाँ कल आप जब अपना शेयर स्क्रीन के बाद अपना ये जूम का ऐप खोल रहे ना जूम के जगह वही लगा के रखिए अपना पार पॉइंट का ऐप <laughs> अभी तो ऑडिबल है कनेक्टेड है इसमें केवल ये आ रहा है कि योर वीडियो इज स्टॉप हु हैज स्टॉप माय वीडियो नहीं अंकल आपका वीडियो विजिबल है नहीं नहीं तो हमको तो स्क्रीन पर हाँ तो हमको तो स्लाइड नहीं दिख रहा है ना आप तो शो करिएगा वन बाई वन आई शुड सी द्लाइड ऑन माई स्क्रीन तो आप अभी ऐप कौन सा खोल के रखे हुए हैं मतलब आपकी स्क्रीन पे अभी जूम खुला हुआ है कि स्लाइड्स वाला ऐप खुला हुआ है जो जो आया है लिंक उसी को हमने टैप किया है स्लाइड आपसे जूम आया है ना जूम कर दो ना तो आप अभी देखिएगा ना आपके नीचे में कहीं पे ये जो स्लाइड शेयर वाला अभी आपके पावर पॉइंट का ऐप है उसको खोल लीजिए आप क्योंकि आपका पावर पॉइंट दिख रहा है पर आपका जो ऐप है वो जूम का खुल गया है में में नीचे तो तीन पॉइंट्स डॉट्स दिख रहा है उसमें से एक वाइट दिख रहा है बाकी दो इनविजिबल है और तो कुछ भी नहीं है स्क्रीन पर अभी आप फोन से यूज कर रहे हैं या फिर फोन से कर रहे हैं तो आप वो अपने बीच वाला अपना बटन दबाएगा अपने फोन में नीचे तीन बटन होते हैं ना अच्छा रिंग सर्कल हाँ सर्कल दबाइए तो ये तो फिर वापस हो जाएगा क्या हाँ एक बार कीजिए ना अच्छा आपने शेयर स्क्रीन ऑन रखा है ना अभी हाँ अभी वापस चले गए अब तो सब आइकॉन्स दिख रहा है हाँ उसके बाद आप लेफ्ट साइड में कौन सा बटन है उसमें नीचे आपके फोन में ट्रायंगल है नहीं और राइट साइड में तो वो एक स्क्वायर होगा ना स्क्वायर है हाँ हाँ तो स्क्वायर दबाइए हाँ ठीक है उसमें आपको आपका पावर पॉइंट का कोई ऐप दिख रहा होगा जिससे आपने अपना प्रेजेंटेशन खोला है नहीं अभी तो फिर वही अच्छा अच्छा हाँ तो वीडियो का कुछ आइकॉन दिख रहा है उसको प्रेस करें प्रेजेंटेशन कौन चला रहे हैं अभी कैमरा का
क्या फिर से डिस्कनेक्ट करके कनेक्ट करें अंकल ट्राई कर लीजिए डिस्कनेक्ट करके वापस से ज्वाइन कीजिए हाँ फिर से करते हैं जी हेलो हेलो हाँ बोलिए काम करते हैं क्या सर तो वो टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम हो गया आप एक काम कीजिए भाभी जी को भेज दीजिए वो वाला वो मोबाइल से देख देख के कहीं और मोबाइल से देख के खोलने दीजिए ठीक है नहीं सर दोबारा आ रहे हैं आ रहे दिखा सर सर दोबारा री एंट्री कर रहे हैं हेलो जी जी अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है जी हेलो 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 श्रीवास्तव जी हेलो 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 श्रीवास्तव जी हेलो हेलो जी चालू करेंगे मेरे को देरी होने से आपको दे देता रहा तो खराब पाएंगे ना ठीक है लोलाब बोले तो हेलो हेलो अपने फोन से आप जूम में जा रहे हैं संजीव संजीव हाँ बोलिए सुनी के लिए मेरे को दे दीजिए हाँ बोलिए आपको दे देते क्या अभी हाँ हाँ हेलो हाँ हेलो श्रीवास्तव जी हाँ बोलिए दे दीजिए आपको दे देते हैं मोबाइल सर जैसे ही हो जाएंगे वो करेंगे 
तो अभी आपको दे देते हैं हाँ हाँ ठीक है सर प्रॉब्लम हमारे सिन्हा सर थोड़ा देर बाद में आएंगे सो ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम सिन्हा सर विल डिलीवर इन लेक्चर लेटर ऑन नाउ विल मूव टू नेक्स्ट सेशन दैट इज रिसोर्स पर्सन इज देयर डॉक्टर अवधेश कुमार श्रीवास्तव जी एंड बिफोर ही स्टार्ट इज प्रेजेंटेशन लेट मी गिव यू हिज इंट्रोडक्शन It is my great honor and pleasure to introduce Dr. Abdesh Kumar Srivastav, who obtained his B.Sc. Honors degree in botany from Ranchi University, Ranchi, Jharkhand, M.Sc. from Bhagalpur University, and Ph.D. from Guru Jyotirvedas University, Bilaspur, Chhattisgarh. He is currently H.O.D. Department of Botany and Microbiology, Government D.T. P.G. College, Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh. It is so impossible to mention. is every single accomplishment because they are a lot his achievements uh, have been recognized by many different awards including recognition award in 19, 2019 however today we are here to recognize dr avdesh kumar srivastav's outstanding talents as a professor and mentor he has a teaching experience of 33 years in ug level and 14 years in pg level He also has 63 international and national level uh, publications to his credit. His field of interest are research, secondary metabolites, PGPR, and LB. Hello. He has attended several Hello. important Hello. conferences Hello. and workshops Hello. at national Hello. and international Hello. level. He has completed Hello. two research Hello. projects under UGC, Hello. and presently Hello. he is the PhD Hello. supervisor. Hello. under pandit ravi shankar shukla university raipur chatisgarh five phd scholars are were awarded and this award was under his guidance he has edited three books and editorial board members of various journals of national and international level those students are lucky enough to take classes from shivastav as always has been amazed by his ability to make even the most complex concepts understandable he is widely sought after as a lecturer and is always willing to mentor students even when they are not of his own interest it is such a honor for us to have you today between us thank you so much for coming and bestowing us with your presence thank you for doing so much for us please welcome dr avdesh kumar sivastav now i request avdesh kumar sivastav ji to start his presentation theek hai to abhi abhi ek minute abhi papa on kar rahe hain sir papa abhi on kar rahe hain papa ji screen pe aapko mai audible sir अभी स्क्रीन पे देख रहा हूं तो एक पावर पॉइंट ऑफ ऑन किया हो देख रहा हूं हां हां ठीक है तो यही वाला चलने ना मतलब ऐसे भी जो सम टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम मतलब अगर पापा ही ऑन कर दो दिस इज माय प्रिविलेज टू ओवरकम एंड जॉइन विद यू इन दिस बर्निंग टॉपिक जॉब प्लेसमेंट एंड एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप बट बिफोर गोइंग टू द टॉपिक आई एम sir sanjeev sir all faculty member of the colleges and uh, different de delegates and dignitaries of all over india a very interesting topic we are going to discuss is job placement and entrepreneurship because nowadays ugc has made it mandatory for every college to be accredited by the nac and we are getting different type of categories and it is a great responsibility for the college to see how their students are placing in different job whether they are doing job or if they are being placed in some enterprises or they are developing their own entrepreneurship because it is nothing but from idea to business whenever any idea comes in mind and how it blooms is the main topic to discuss with you 
that is job placement and entrepreneurship because alumni is the concept which is present in different colleges and in alumni what our student are performing in their life this is mandatory for every college to make such record because when our nec team comes to your college when we are preparing ssr it is a keen responsibility for all colleges to keep such type of record so it becomes mandatory for all of us to keep such type of thing in our colleges this topic is very interesting because uh, some where i have studied and i have uh, learned in my childhood sai itna dijiye jame kutum samaye main bhi bhukha na rahu sadhu bhi na bhukha jaye the sant kabir has told that god give me such type of thing ke either i not be hunger and anyone who comes to me should not be hunger so this dawa nal badwa nal different type of uh, as our principal sir told the bhadu month is very religious month for assam sir this is not only a religious month for assam rather it is a very important month for all over india because here we are preparing we are doing the pitch pitri patch where we are giving water to our ancestors so the basic need of roti kapda and makan that is bread and house and uh, cloth to cover our parts this is our basic need but as we are moving towards our different type of desire holistic development so our this basic rural area is now developing into a metro cities this uh, sky touching buildings and apartments are developing everywhere and we are uh, moving in such a way but covid 19 has told us that we are moved in a very bad direction we have to come back and lot of pollution is being removed automatically by this lockdown and so many other things so something which is going to be very bad simultaneously they also teaches us how to live in this society so this is a very beautiful slide which i want to share with you because whenever you become success whenever you have become successful people sees your certificate your medals and your trophies but they do not say how much you have sacrificed how you are keeping yourself healthy how you are keeping your good habits how you are focusing your target sometimes whenever we are to want to doing something it disappointed us our mindset our persistence our daily goals our expenses time management determination meeting target tears sleepless nights rejection so many thing which are present which people do not see and people see only the successfulness so to so our society this type of success it is our moral responsibility to do such type of thing because the uh, world was moving in a very fast direction before uh, 22 march uh, to 2020 but as covid 19 has come government announces msmes 3 lakhs crore rupees this is fund which is generated by the government of india and our prime minister has developed atmanirbhar bharat local to vocal and he has given a lot of monies in terms of economic package as principal sir told us that uh, so many money has been given to the uh, so that the poor become empowered the laborer become uh, strong and migrant uh, who are being affected by the covid and our finance minister nirmala sitaraman thought uh, to five press conferences for uh, removing or eradicating the problem and um, make it as a social package to the people so atmanirbhar bharat that is self reliant india campaign migrant get so many monies by the government of india farmer get 30 crore 30000 crore and street vendor get 5000 crore and 6000 crore has been given for job creation for families mudra loan and so many other things 
affordable housing a lot of things has been given to them and 20 lakh crore has given for covid 19 economic stimulus so this is the time when we can think about our such type of situation because uh, made in india uh, atmanirbhar bharat these are the different slogan and our prime minister told us that our atmanirbhar bharat is establishing on economy infrastructure system demography and demand these five are the main pillar of our india so we have to solve it and for this he has developed so many sectors in india like automobile aviation biotechnology chemical and petrochemical construction defense electrical machinery electronic system food processing it i bpm leather media entertainment wellness tourism and hospitality thermal power textile and garment space road and highways renewable energy railway so many things has been given under the sector which make india sustainable the investment and plant machinery equipment was micro small and medium and the total money has been uh, increased because it was uh, nowadays more than 25 Uh, lakhs rupees for a small five crores and medium ten crores such type of investment has been given by uh, government of India for medium small middle industries. So if such type of step are given by the government, so it becomes very important for those students who are unemployed, for those society member who are unemployed, because uh, if you think. Uh, Uh, about the india when east india company was not coming in our india at that time our small scale industry was at the boom silk uh, uh, neel that was uh, indigo everything was uh, uh, developed in india and they were shifted from india to other countries at that time cotton industries was also boom so uh, we are now in such position we have to see in our past and we have to make our plan because if plan doesn't work don't change the plan uh, sorry if a plan doesn't work change the plan but never the goal because whenever you have decided the goal you have to develop so many type of plan so that we can uh, achieve the target always think big and don't listen to the people who tell you it can't be done always people says that never think about never see never hear about the failure people because life is very short so think always for betterment uh, before going to assam i want to tell you something secret about my own state because chatisgarh is made up of uh, how it is known as chatisgarh because 36 uh, forts were there it was uh, perhaps uh, people says that uh, this uh, uh, total state has so many small kingship and they have different type of uh, uh, kingdoms and when uh, india was uh, independent they give their total things and so many uh, freedom fighter uh, has also been developed in our chatisgarh and this is full with natural resources so many industries are here and industrial infrastructure is very great so many projects are going on our uh, prime minister uh, our chief minister uh, has told four important thing why i am saying like this because in chatisgarh narwa gurwa ghurwa and bari these are the four words narwa is known as nadi nale the river the water resources garwa is pasudhan the animal husbandry is an animal and ghurwa is the kuda or uh, the debris which is present which becomes uh, fertilizers uh, and bari is the kheti bari like that bari is the kheti or farming so the water resources if you think about assam uh, a big river is there that is known as brahmaputra brahmaputra is uh, is uh, becomes narwa and of course assam is very famous for different type of animal because hot spot biodiversity is also there rhinoceros elephant so many other projects we will discuss later on and ghurwa that is the debris which is coming from our houses 
and of course almost all the play uh, i mean uh, assam is almost plain which is surrounded by himalaya uh, different uh, states of himalaya is there so our uh, this uh, chief minister uh, mr rupesh baghel has told that uh, we have to conserve these four things and it is the fundamental word narwa garwa ghurwa and bari in chatisgarhi which says about uh, how we can develop our state so i am really very thankful to our prime minister our chief minister who are thinking like this because uh, he told in chatisgarhi chatisgarh ke char chinhari narwa gurwa ghurwa and bari this is a type of poem and he says that we have to save it our uh, water resources our animal resources our debrises and our agriculture so we can save our state why i am saying like that because we can develop suras bayus uh, i mean uh, saving these things that's why he says that garbo nava chatisgarh that means we will develop a new chatisgarh so if prime minister and chief minister of any country or any states think about their uh, own citizens so this is our modern responsibility to being a citizen of the india we should develop uh, we should cooperate them so that they can uh, i mean government can do because what is government government is uh, our and we are the we part of the government so if we save our uh, such type of thing we can be use sustainable uh, uses of different resources we can develop a very good state and very good uh, country too as for example if you think about nadi nale fisheries aqua plants irrigation decoration tourism hotel restaurant boating navigation water harvesting these things will be developed in our first line so if you think same thing for the assam in assam lot of water resources are there lot of ponds are there lot of rivers are there and we develop fish culture crab culture snail culture pearl culture chestnut that is pani singhada makhana tal makhana aquarium we can develop so many things in our country because opportunity is present in front of the students in front of the unemployed but they not they do not catch that opportunity because i want to tell you a story when two mba students were sent to an uh, uh, i mean uh, for a visit to a village uh, where no uh, to a small city where no uh, sleeper industry was there so first student when come back he is told that there is no sleeper industries the people do not know how to bear the sleeper we if we open the sleeper industry that will be not fruitful for us but simultaneously the other mba student goes to them and he told that uh, if we put some money on edit advertisement and we say how the sleeper and being where in the lakes and how it becomes comfortable for you so and labor is very uh, cheap because no any employment facilities there so we can develop industry there so you see the two type of mba student are giving different type of reply so according to your opinion who is the best mba yes the second one because he has get the opportunities he has think the opportunities so opportunity is present in our door step and we have to identify them we have to do according to them so second is garua that is pashudhan so uh, recently uh, our this chief minister mr bhupesh baghel has uh, developed june 25th that is godhan nay nay yojana in which the gobar or the dung which becomes uh, just wasted in a road street etc and they are being collected by the people and they are purchased by the government on the basis of 2 rupees kg this become jokes for different type of political issues but i am not politician i am a bio student so i think that these bio waste products if they are being rotten they are being drying on the streets so what should be the use if you are using them for development of different bio energy so we can develop lot of things this is the scenario of our different type of villages and cities and this give you such type of thing that you can develop gobar gas plant 
and beside not only developing such type of energy we can get a milk product and if we have a good technology or milk technology milk dairy technology we can develop curd butter sweet khand ghee skim milk and do you know their bone their skins are also useful because if we are not justifying that uh, this is a matter of uh, i'm not saying about any religion hindu muslim sikh isai everyone is very real, i mean but in hindu methodology the bone which is obtained from these uh, animals are being used in sugar industry for clearing the uh, i mean uh, sugar heap. and the skin is also used for leather industries and whatever what they are uh, uh, i mean taking in their diet the husk the hull which is useless for us and the animal are taking this and they are giving dung which is used in goitha and gobar gas plant and different type of organic fertilizer so you think about the uses of the gurua every day we are saying that the uh, these two type of basket or uh, carry bag has been given by the our government our local government our nagar nigam one is biodegradable and other is non biodegradable we know it but simultaneously we are giving such type of debris why not you we are developing bio industries in energy development why not you are using alternate source of energy why not you are thinking about bio fertilizer vermi composting methanol production because recently in covid 19 all the wine industry are converted into sanitizer formation and the rice uh, is also used for preparation of methanol ethanol and we are just wasting all these things uh, in um, just by forming such type of debris is that is not suited for us as well as for our society so if you want to make clean india we should be aware that the biodegradable thing the things which are being biodegraded should be placed in green and the blue is consisting of only those thing which are non biodegradable that is uh, plastic etc so green bean and blue bean are very important because green is meant for west wet west and uh, so they can be uh, blue can be recycled so and this is a chart of different uh, how we can con control this, this type of pollution i want to uh, come with you in bihar where dr bindeshwari pathak is here and you know this personality is very famous personality because in every station throughout the india as well as in so many abroad countries this person has developed international sulab and this is the logo of international sulab do you know in patna the capital of bihar when i was very small uh, just uh, 10 or 12 year old i was so i have seen near a station uh, sulab international has developed uh, and people say they give 10 or 50 20 paise of to use the toilets and their debris of the toilet the waste products of the human excreta are being used for development of energy and uh, nowadays if you go to the beli road the I mean, mall road of the patna is beli road uh, you can see the uh, biogas or bio uh, energy production is there and or the total lighting of the beli road is done by this person bindeshwari pathak who has developed so many uh, total uh, i mean in india he has developed sulab international so uh, next is kheti kisani if we have a very good agriculture horticulture floriculture now the medicinal plants are on go in covid 19 foreigner are very much uh, uh, i mean uh, in puzzle ki our india has a slow rate of uh, mortality so we are using uh, tinospora satavar musli bach mint and so many other medicinal plant we are using in a way in our spices lot of uh, secondary metabolites are there vegetable wood plant tissue culture fruit canning ready to serve mango and soft drinks pickles jam jelly squares agriculture implements all are present and these are just in front of you and you can develop your farming very nice so our chief minister sir has told that the four thing if we control 
so if you are uh, preserving our agriculture land wooden necessities wooden toys our prime minister has also told we, we have to develop toys uh, wooden carts carrom board sticker chess board wooden furniture blackboard picking cases building material wooden agriculture implement ladies wear cotton thread even garment and school bags different type of plywood wood so these are the things and from our forest we are getting so many type of things instant noodle um different type of mushroom keso nut assam is very famous for tea and silk so our three type of silk are there in assam we will discuss later on so such type of uh, things which has a long list so you have to select any one and we can develop so many uh, industries for ready made uh, masala industry tamarind powder instant food uh, protein rich biscuits mango bar even mango jelly is very famous the papad making this is a leaved bread that was used in egypt in 4000 before christ and such type of things are also present in our india and when the total world was uh, developing we become slaves so we have lost all these things so we have to develop uh, this in our mind because everyone says that we want job what is job a task or a piece of work especially one that is paid we are doing job i am assistant professor i am professor in a college we are doing a job and getting simultaneously a salary so we are in job but uh, do you know how much energy we have to given to get this job what is placement this is a very important word in uh, nowadays how much your your uh, annual placement package and people are it is a temporary position in a job within 24 hour you have to evacuate your position and think about entrepreneurship this is a down world because all these things has been taken from wikipedia the entrepreneurship is the activity of setting a business or business taking on financial risk in hope of the profit we are taking a financial risk and we are also hoping that we will get the profit a new business opportunity have increased entrepreneurship on a grand scale so most of the students who are studying want a job or placement we are not interested for entrepreneurship hum naukri dene wale bane kyun lene wale bane such type of things should be developed in our mind but it is a type of risk we are investing money and for this work hard in silence let success make the noise you think about it just like when uh, i was I, i was a student at 9 10 our parents are forcing us to prepare for this exam that exam pmt exam je exam like that no parent is forcing their student think about a business what you have to do and after getting degree we are interested for job and placement and we never think about our entrepreneurship what is the importance of entrepreneurship development this overall so if we have entrepreneurship we can decrease unemployment we can reduce capitalization economic balance of the country will be maintained local resources can be used as i have told you brahmaputra is a very i mean vigorous river lot of aqua products are present in your river you have to i mean uh, think about that product and you have to develop such type of gardening or aqua product so that we can use your natural resources rise per capita income improve living standard economic independence and overall development so how you can develop your business how to start a business just prepare your business plan see plan is different goal is different you want to make a goal so you have to develop your business plan the plan you can change a plan and you just understand the contracts what uh, how we can do this and minding your business and you can proceed for this and for entrepreneurship you have to do when well research advertising success strategy branding product so you can go for the entrepreneurship for this a continuous learning process is there our mind always always think 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 and this is our mind who has developed this opportunity that 
you are present in nagao in assam in heart of the assam nagao is a very beautiful place and i have visited your place uh, and i am present in chatisgarh very adjacent to maharashtra and we are seeing each other we are hearing each other only we cannot touch this is our virtual platform which gives such opportunity as for our chatisgarh is concerned this is youngest and fastest growing state we have good governance good governance is very important for any state and essential infrastructure with surplus power we have 24 into 7 hours electric supply we have a stable labor environment is talented pool is here mineral resources are there we have 42% forest products so it has a very good opportunity so i invite all the people of mahar i mean assam come to chatisgarh and develop your entrepreneurship or you you call us we can also develop entrepreneurship because our india is a very vast country a lot of opportunity opportunities is present and do you know chatisgarh is richest indian state in terms of mineral here 28 varieties of major minerals are there 205 mines are there is ranked fifth in terms of major mineral production 36% of the in team is here and uh, this is india uh, in india it is present on top in coal tin and dolomite production and diamond is also here uh, available in um, there is area uh, just near raipur diamond is also available dolomite is there so we have 24 into 7 Korwa is very important hub for the electricity generation. We are passing this electricity to our neighbor uh, states also, and due to presence of coal, we are developing coal uh, energy from the coal and cement industry, aluminium industry, iron industry is there. So this interrupted, uh, uh, uninterrupted quality of the power supply develops ITs, electronics, and other manufacturing units. we have a very good connectivity of the air that is swami bivekanand uh, airport it is situated in raipur we have 33448 km road network and we are also developing uh, so many other uh, uh, roads and 19 national highway are crossing from our uh, chatisgarh we have a very good connectivity with the road uh, rail and as you know uh, chatisgarh is known as dhan ka katora the chatisgarhi people says that sabse badhiya chatisgarhiya sabse badhiya that is chatisgarhi is the best peoples because the bowl of rice world is given to our chatisgarh and uh, 43% is a, of the area is present in agriculture and 43% is also present in uh, forest area so uh, rice is one of the important crop but beside that pulses seeds and other things maize cereal pulses a uh, lot of things are ginger guava tomato brinjal uh, or uh, you can see lot of additional spices vegetables all are growing here so this is a very good state uh, even in terms of fisheries production uh, almost every village of the chatisgarh have beautiful pond where they are generating uh, fishes and that fishes in uh, marketed by the uh, panchayat peoples and it a, a good opportunity is given to the fishermen and marketers and our fishes are supplied all over india so why chatisgarh is best state because it has a low i mean lower cost labor our layer labor migrate to the punjab haryana and uh, if they getting their opportunity here itself so why they should migrate from this state lower cost of electricity lower cost of living lower rental so these are the different thing which are helping in operating cost and as per the talent it has a very good excellent e educational ecosystem nit iit triple it iim national law university agriculture university and so many professionals graduate post graduate every year passes and they are providing their i mean uh, um services to the nation 2400 plus registered vocational training partners are also present in this state so like this state every state has such type of a strategy and we have to develop our own vision target strategy idea location and if marketing is there you can develop your 
target for entrepreneurship what things should be needed and how we can develop our export a standard of living community development wealth creation sharing we can create job lot of people uh, like krishna sudama a very beautiful story uh, because uh, krishna was the king he gives the opportunity to sudama a very good friendship story is also there so uh, we can create job we can give the job to the people because uh, when i'm employed if because uh, you, as a teacher i feel that what we are giving to the society so we are giving educated unemployed youth to our society so our youth when they take their degrees in their hand and think back how this professor has told us so bete i never dreamed about success i worked for it maine kabhi safalta ko सपने में नहीं देखा मैंने सफलता पाने के लिए कोशिश करी दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन फॉर ऑल माय स्टूडेंट्स द की ऑफ सक्सेस इज टू फोकस ऑन गोल नॉट ऑन ऑब्स्टेकल इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग योर वर्क वर्किंग मेथोडोलॉजी यू विल गेट लोट लॉट ऑफ ऑब्स्टेकल्स और फाइनली सक्सेस इज ऑनली प्रेजेंट हु इज फोकसिंग ऑन द गोल इन महाभारत a story was taught to almost every student when the oil was boiling and the fish was moving and lot of his uh, all the i mean pupils of the uh, dorna charge we are asked what you are seeing so arjun told that i wa- i have seen only the uh, i but i tell to student don't see the i see the lens see the cornea see the retina what are you actually what is your target and push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you aap apne aap ko khud dhake liye koi aapko dhakka dene ke liye nahi aayega so you can get your success to entrepreneurship pe hum kare kya you can develop a photocopying center a stock publication as uh, our sanjeev sir very uh, responsible person a very good student a very good teacher uh, he is organizing this webinar on this platform so those who has such type of google form formation who has such powerpoint presentation they can develop such type of desktop publication internet cafe auto repair and service tailoring photo studios cable tv network puri bharat band hai lekin kya aapki gaadi kharab ho rahi to band rahi ki nahi aapki photo studio chal rahi ki nahi advertising advertising agencies marketing consultancy typing center engineering workshop steel almira so textile screen printing wind cheater soft toys instant garment interlocking fabrics knitted socks manufacture sort top and skirts mosquito net is uh, net school uniforms all these things even automobile service station cutleries automobile aluminum utensil a single stage water filter because a lot of uh, a lot of people are want uh, uh, drinking water supply so you can develop such type of thing which do not uh, in uh, uh, our utay ye doctor has left his doctory profession and you know he is uh, develop a mineral water production because uh, he has dig two or three wells and filtering the water and supplying it throughout the india and lot of uh, trains uh, which were running uh, uh, tulsi mineral water so this is uh, the thing which is can be set up in very, very small amount computer furnitures hair brushes measuring tape mosaic tiles so you just think what i want to do what is my natural resources and natural resources are present in front of your door you think about those thing you know the uh, husk the barn of the rice is developing barn oil which is used in different cooking purposes skin printing synthetic gem cutting lime building bricks granite tiles soft saw mill so many things are present with us why we think about our this lovely state because you see you are here in nagaon this is your nagaon a thing is present here so this is almost present bhutan arunachal pradesh myanmar nagaland manipur mizoram tripura beautiful state of the india 
is surrounded. I mean, Assam is present in heart, you know, just adjacent to West Bengal. So, what opportunity is present in our Assam? First thing, Assam has a very good biodiversity. It is a state in Northwest India, which make biological hotspot with many rare endemic plants and animal species. The greatest success in recent year has been conserved on Indian rhinoceros. This is a beautiful animal, which is present in Kaziranga National Park, very adjacent to your Nagao, but a rapid increase in human population in Assam threatened many plants and animals in their natural habitat. During the flood, this rhinoceros comes to the road uh, we have seen in TVs. And why Assam is very interesting? Because UNESCO has made World Heritage Site, Manas and Kaziranka, two biosphere reserves, Jiburu and Sikoa and Manas, five tiger reserves, Kaziranga, Manas, Lemeri and Rajiv Gandhi, Orang National Park, five element elephant reserve centers are present in Assam. So we feel proud to be an Assamese because uh, this is present, I mean, it is surrounded by beautiful states of the India. And, and uh, Assam has protected areas like National Park, these five national parks, Manas, Kaziranka, Orang, Nimeri and Dibru Sikova. Sanctuaries is also, these uh, seven sanctuaries is also, and you see 560 square kilometer. Kaziranga is 320 square kilometer. So this is uh, present in Brahmaputra Valley. And Brahmaputra is a very great river for Assamese people. So I want to say that opportunity is present in your, in front of your door. And our Assam government has taken the initiative to make a start ecosystem in the state as our uh, uh, genius uh, principles are told that a lot of uh, ecosystem has been developed by the government and we should participate in any one ecosystem and our vision, our initiation, our cultural entrepreneurs in Assam will promote the empowering of the youth because uh, so that you become job creator and you can pursue your entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial dreams because think, uh, see the dream because trans or if you think the dream, if you see the dream, if you move towards your dream, you can transform the Assam into a leading part or in the hub of the country. This is not only the Chhattisgarh, this is not only the Jharkhand, this is not only other state. I am sure that Assam is a very great opportunity and Assamese people uh, are very laborious and they can do a lot of things because you know, Assam is abundant in mineral resources. As I told you about the Chhattisgarh, Assam is also very rich in mineral resources, coal, petroleum, limestone, and natural gases. And principal mineral resource is Assam because the largest producer of crude oil in India is the Assam. And other minor minerals like magnetite quartz, olein, silimines, iron ore, clay, clay dispar, etc. is also present in Assam. And as we have discussed, Assam is known for Assam tree, Assam silk, and this is the first site where oil drilling has done in Asia. So Assam is also very beautiful due to its, I mean, faunal diversity, rhinoceros, wild water buffalo, pygmy hog, tiger, and various species of Asiatic birds, which provide one of the last wild habitat for Indian, uh, for Asian elephants. You know that Assam uh, is very famous for its silk, golden muga, white pack, and worn iri silk. These three variety of the silk, which is not present, uh, which is not found anywhere in India, is a very remarkable identification of the Assam. Uh, because uh, Assam is well known for its quality in silk since ancient time. When Chinese were also come to India, they have taken our silk from India to the China. So I want to tell you, if such opportunity is present in front of you and you can dream it, 
so you can do it also so must dream so that you can fulfill your dream too so this is all about last thing paryavaran bachega to hum bachenge i want to tell that we should develop entrepreneurship but we should not i mean uh, do such type of thing that our environment should be polluted we have to pick a very keen uh, eye on this thing because lot of a crore rupees building is there and in front of this a debris is present and people are freely moving so what will happen so by these words i want to tell that lot of opportunities is present in front of you and you have to choose the best thing what you want to do and uh, uh by these words i oblige to dr principal sir <coughs> sanjeev sir all of you to give me this platform to share my own opinion i mean opinion regarding entrepreneurship so in last i appeal to all my students do not beg a job do not go for the placement develop your country by developing entrepreneurship and thank you very much and thank you to all of you sir mic over to sanjeev nath sir thank you shrivastav ji very nice presentation and uh, you have some uh, we have some questions for you but uh, we will discuss it after shinasa presentation so shinasa is in our line sorry participants sorry mr uh, shinasa due to some technical problem uh, you could not give lecture now i request our chief guest professor manoj ranan sinha a scholar of repute and uh, presently the vice chancellor of netaji subhas university jamshedpur jharkhand to start his presentation <laughs> सिन्हा साहब स्टूडियो बैठ में आओ हेलो साहब सर यू सिन्हा सर यू आर म्यूट योर सेल्फ हेलो सिन्हा सर प्लीज अनम्यूट हाँ माई ऑडिबल या सर नाउ इट्स ऑडिबल प्लीज सर कैन आई स्टार्ट नाउ या सर रिस्पेक्टेड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ धिंग कॉलेज नौगांव असम डॉक्टर विमान हजारिका सर द कोऑर्डिनेटर वेबनेर कमिटी ऑफ द कॉलेज धिंग कॉलेज डॉक्टर संजीव कुमार नाथ faculty members of the college delegates connected from all over india and many other places my dear students both graduate as well as undergraduate classes of different colleges and universities a very good afternoon to all and wishing a day full of positivity to everyone a proud moment for me to be connected to you all this afternoon for a national web near a newly developed technique for post covid 19 am i audible yes sir 
we all know, we all know that due to covid 19 last few months have been very difficult for all of us to organize regular classes in schools colleges and universities but life business cannot be stopped well said in science necessity is the mother of invention and now we have taken up this alternative mode of internet called web near and it is helping us to take the things forward in the field of education also today's topic of the web near is very important and relevant for students which is job placement and entrepreneurship i extend my thanks to the principal dean college as well as the coordinator of today's web near for giving this honor to me to be the chief guest of today's deliberations after school and college education a student want to settle down in life nicely with some regular earnings for himself or herself this is very natural because without money one cannot sustain in life so normally one looks for a job in private sector or government sector but our ever increasing population which has touched the figure of 135 crores perhaps job opportunities are gradually dwindling becoming less and less therefore what the students after serious studies should do to have a decent livelihood is very important and should be pondered over keeping it in mind and it is very relevant also today's web near topic job placement and entrepreneurship has been perhaps selected and i congratulate the department of botany dean college assam for this with the help of some slides i will try to present my views on it hope you will find it interesting so the first slide is very encouraging and i would like to tell the students particularly because this webinar is for them only that be positive in life positivity in life is very important very significant and this is how you will overcome your difficulties in life it is life life has both the side both the sides of the coin you can never expect in life all the roses always you will have the dark period as well so you must have the attitude to tide over the dark period as well and with this aim you should follow this uh, slides message here it is written that dream more means you must aspire you must think about bigger things more and more and you try to achieve it don't complain that i don't have money i don't have resources i cannot do it i cannot achieve it no try to reduce the complaints or try to mitigate the complaints and try to dream higher and higher in life this should be the first goal of each and every student next says second line says play more play more work less it doesn't mean that you do not study or you do not concentrate on your work play more means you do everything in playing mode enjoy your work enjoy your duties and it should not be treated as cumbersome process and therefore work less means you should not harass you your work should not harass you you should not demoralize you it should not weaken you rather so enjoy your work enjoy your studies enjoy everything in life this should be the attitude listen more and talk less many people many students are talking as if they are going to top in the examination as if they are going to compete in ias as if they are going to compete everywhere in life no this is not possible so don't be don't talk tall 
always but aspire high definitely aspire high and for this listening is very important you listen others very patiently if you are a good listener you will be achieving your goal very easily so try to listen to others also and you should not be all the time talkative about yourself only believe more and doubt less believe me more means you should have confidence in yourself and you should not worry about the doubt doubt will be there but don't allow the doubts to overcome your ambitions next one love more argue less argue arguments are always destructive arguments are always negative so try to avoid arguments and try to enjoy your work try to love your work relax more and worry less whatever you are doing whatever you have done whatever you will be doing all these things are very important and should be taken in true spirit so it should be in the relaxed mode and don't worry about the end don't worry about the goal which you will be finally getting or not you will definitely get the goal so avoid worrying about your progress rather take it in a relaxed way hope more fear less if you are not hopeful you will not succeed so you must keep your head high you must be very hopeful about success and all the fear should be discarded in life everywhere not only in study but everywhere this should be the attitude and if this attitude is there a person will have all the positivity in life next please next slide please yes, oh yes yeah. this slide is also very important and very 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 enjoying also you see a person is standing one side and the other side he has to reach and what you have to what you want to do or what you want to achieve is written on the other side and there is a big gap between this man cannot fly to that end easily cannot jump to that end easily so what you are actually presently this is on the left side and what you want to achieve finally it is on the right side and in between it is written leap of faith leap of faith means it is a big gap and this big gap has to be overcome by your attitude only your faith only your confidence only you must have full confidence in yourself and i tell my students all the time that whatever you are doing whichever subject you are studying whatever you want to become in life all these two things should have a very very positive positivity and all the positivity will help you to reach the goal finally so faith in yourself you must have faith in yourself you must have faith in your merit you must have faith in your efforts and then nobody will be able to stop you to reaching your goal next slide please next slide please again yeah, uh, this yeah. picture this picture is also very encouraging particularly for the students and this has a very special message to understand in the upper picture you see one person is trying to break the wall in order to reach the tunnel and he is trying hard is still trying and that there there is a, a big gap between the two means the tunnel is far off and it is difficult for him to reach the tunnel still he has not lost the hope whereas in the down picture you see a one person is actually depressed finally after almost reaching the end point and he has finally given up without opening to the tunnel and he is going back so you have to you have to work relentlessly you should not be afraid of the thing that you will not be able to reach the goal and your patience will count your your himmat will count your courage will count and this is the way how you should lead a life next slide please yes sir career progression yes, career progression you see job entrepreneurship and further studies job is very much preferred by students particularly the students who have done undergraduate courses or post graduation courses because one feels secured in a job and particularly in india 
it is very much admired to have a government job this government job you find more secure but i told you students that 135 crore people are there and the educated number the educated people are also so, so many that the government cannot provide job to each and every body so you have to be self generating you must do something by which you can earn your livelihood so the job opportunity has to be created by you and it should not be you should not depend on the government only to create the job now entrepreneurship is the way through which you can create job and this is very significant very important though our students reluctant uh, they feel reluctant and they feel disheartened many times that it is very difficult to start your own entrepreneurship but it is not that the things are changing the government is also supporting the students the government is supporting the younger generation and i believe that in time to come the younger generation will be able to do much better in entrepreneurship own entrepreneurship rather than going for job of course few students good students who are good in studies they go for higher studies they can do higher studies in india itself or can go even abroad and by doing this they can acquire higher education higher degrees and can have better jobs or they can prepare themselves better for even entrepreneurship their own own uh, entrepreneurship next one please uh, so this again signifies entrepreneurship and you see uh, there are one two three four five blocks which are all leading to entrepreneurship so these are the qualities and first thing which i would like to highlight is innovation so you must have if you are interested really interested in starting your own business if you are really starting your own startup which the government always encourages you to do in you have to be innovative you must have some ideas new ideas innovations what exactly you propose to do and you for that you must have the market study as well so innovation is the first thing and if this new idea is there in your mind you can definitely venture for your own business independence you will have full independence in entrepreneurship this is also very uh, very very obvious because if you are in a job either in government sector or in private sector you will not have that independence because your boss will tell you to do this or that and you won't have the full independence as such but in your own entrepreneurship this is the enjoying part of life you will have full independence so one can venture for own business own startups no doubt about it of course some risk will be there and this has to be set aside investment opportunities you must observe this one if if, if you are going to start entrepreneurship your own business you must explore this one investment opportunity how much you will invest in the business or uh, whether it is possible or not to get back the invested amount finally so all these things must be explored before starting entrepreneurship the calculated risk this also must be calculated because you cannot say that it is risk free everywhere everywhere risk is involved not only in entrepreneurship even in government jobs or private jobs risk is involved because you can be fired very easily particularly in private jobs if you are not performing well then you will be fired and you will be removed from the company so this risk is always there but in your own entrepreneurship of course you will be losing your capital so this great risk is there and you must calculate this risk also in the very beginning and thereafter you start your own entrepreneurship but i tell my students i i again repeat it today also that don't be over calculated don't be afraid of losing don't be afraid of the risk involved risk are always there risk is very much there if you are going on a bike risk is very much there if you are driving a car risk is very much there if you are going by a flight you may not survive you may may not come alive back so risk are always there in life and 
in entrepreneurship also naturally there will be some risk and this initiative is very important if you will take initiative you will succeed you must believe in yourself you should believe in your own power you should believe in your own merit and you will definitely succeed next slide please next please yes so previous one please previous one previous one please yes uh, this fellow is has started his own company and it is written my company and he has dreamt for will come true if he will constantly uh, grow go up and up and up the steps gradually will be overcome by this fellow and he will reach the top next please Yes, in this picture, we are finding the photograph of our, of our Prime Minister, and it is about the Atma Nirbhar Bharat, the road ahead. So we have to be self-reliant every time, particularly after this menace of coronavirus, COVID-19, this has become more relevant many a times, or rather all the times, our Prime Minister motivates us, our Prime Minister motivates the younger generation to our Atma Nirbharta, to go for to, to go for making the bharat atma nirbhar self reliant and there are five pillars of self reliant in india which you can see one is economy the other one is infrastructure then there is the system and there is demography and demand if all these things are taken into consideration and these are the five very important pillars for making the india self reliant there is no doubt that in coming days in coming years india will grow and india will grow as a superpower in the world and will be economically also superpower next please next slide please yes sir so we are talking about entrepreneurship job everything and it is all related to employment if you are not getting a government job or private job even then even after that you can be employed you can have your own entrepreneurship and you can, you, you can not only employ yourself in your own business but you can employ others also so don't be disheartened if you have not got after passing out or after obtaining degrees if you have not been offered a good job in private sector or government sector don't be nervous don't be afraid you can do many things unemployed youths we generally are depressed we, we have a large number of unemployed youths in india no doubt about it but the time has come the government is also motivating them and we are also motivating our young children our students to go for higher higher and higher uh, 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 studies not only a study for higher aim they must aim high and they must attain the high aim systematically next please next please yes sir now uh, yes uh, we have crossed 135 crore figure perhaps or have touched 135 crore figure so definitely we are the most populated country one of the most populated countries and we stand next to china so it is very difficult to get job to, to create job for everybody government cannot create or even private sector cannot create job for everybody so it's very difficult and the students must start their own business and they can provide jobs to other the, the 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 satisfaction of providing job to others we will see will be very much there in, in and will make you more confident in life yes, there are many youths in country who are not getting the work and to be more precise the eligible work so they will be getting work in your entrepreneurs in your company in your business and this will give you maximum satisfaction that you have given jobs to others please next please yes yes so we are passing through passing through 2020 and we are perhaps the youngest country youngest country even younger than china and usa where population is very young most of the 
population is very young and we can achieve anything best in in the in the world but why there are sufficient employment generation in india this is also true that we have young generations in good number in highest number perhaps in the world but still we don't have a good opportunity for employment the problem india is facing is the employment problem no doubt about it but today's seminar today's webinar we are organizing for this only to encourage the students to make them mentally fit to make them mentally strong for starting their own business or starting their own entrepreneurship so that they are not dependent on government or private sector for the opportunities next please Yes, when, yes, when the portion of working population remains jobless, gradually the income of the country goes down. It is very natural. And when per capita income goes down, eventually it affects the GDP. And unfortunately, in the last couple of months, our GDP has crashed. Our GDP has gone down. Perhaps it is going to negative side. But this is not happening to India alone. this is happening to each and every country of the world even the country like rich country like usa is suffering like anything so not only india but worldwide everywhere economy is going down going down and this has to be taken in that spirit only we will overcome this difficulty we will tide over this difficulty and we will again be back on the path of progress the crime rate is increasing naturally if the youth is unemployed the youth will not be getting uh, money from any source regular income from any source so from where we will get the funds from where we will get the money to to enjoy his livelihood so many a times he, uh, he uh, takes crimes and he takes up crime and through the crimes he wants to take uh, to, to generate money for himself but this is not good so that is why employment is very important entrepreneurship is very important nobody should be idle in order to take uh, the risk of this crime any type of crime the youth not getting jobs many follow wrong path and this point also i have discussed no no problem, no no issue discussing it again next please yes sir employment problem is a serious problem no doubt till this year india will be the youngest country okay repetition next please next please yes. consequences yes. of un unemployment there is nothing special to tell you students because the person who is not having an employment he or she only understands the agony which the person concerned is facing so it is for the country it is wastage of productive resources it is loss of resource efficiency it is adverse effect of saving on capital formation the source of exploitation the person concerned who has not been employed is actually exploited by others it leads to inequalities of income no doubt about it so social inequality is developed and social harmony is disturbed burden on government is a burden on government burden on government naturally if the employment is not given to the youth then it is definitely a burden on the government change in work attitude this is very important thing the youth who is not getting a job should develop a positive attitude in life and should not be disheartened adverse effect on individual's personality this will definitely happen one will feel depressed if the job is not offered to him if he is not getting regular income from other sources and the last point says adverse social and political effects this is very relevant this is very pertinent because if the unemployed youth will be there there will be inequality in society and there will be adverse social adverse effect on the social harmony as well next one please next one please causes of unemployment measures to remove poverty so there are measures which have been initiated by the government next please which have been initiated by the government no doubt but government alone cannot mitigate everything government alone cannot uh, uh, do everything for us we have to do many things for ourselves the long run remedies high rate of economic growth 
these are the points sector with high uh, potentiality to reduce can can it be enlarged please yeah can it be enlarged please okay these are the points which should be kept in mind now this is very relevant slide uh, next next one next one please uh, this is very relevant so it shows indian unemployment rate and it is particularly in the context of covid 19 and we are actually suffering since the march month in india particularly we are suffering due to onset of covid 19 since march this year and you can see you can very well compare the unemployment rate which has finally crashed to in the last few months but i am very happy to let you know that only yesterday i read it in times of india that in agriculture sector the things are coming up and not only in agriculture sector but in uh, in the in the industry industries also particularly uh, vehicles vehicle production has increased and it is very heartening to know that in last year's comparison this year more vehicles are being produced so this is a very encouraging sign and i i have collected this point from yesterday's times to me so things will not be the same it should it will never be depressing life long it will come up and we have to be patient definitely the life will improve in coming days in coming years and whatever bad we have seen will finally go next please yeah. okay this is again a state wise unemployment rate nothing uh, special to mention you can see pondicherry topping the list and uh, the unemployment rate is maximum in pondicherry relatively uh, it is coming down in rest of the uh, states of our country but it is present everywhere no state is there in india where unemployment is not there but one day will come we have to be positive in life a day will come when <clears throat> we will have no unemployment perhaps you will be you will be surprised to know or you might be knowing that unemployment is there in usa also it is around 23% now it is but it has it was 9% and after covid 19 perhaps it has gone down to over 20% but the only difference between usa and india is that in usa the government cares for the unemployed one they are getting the unemployment allowances whereas in india due to the large population is not visible for the government to grant unemployment uh, 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 unemployment uh, benefits to financial benefits to the unemployed youth next please yes sir now this is about when did you start when did when should you start your business or when you can start your business naturally naturally you cannot start your or you will not venture for starting your own business when you have to come old when you are over 50 or over 55 or over 60 your zeal, zeal will be less you will not have that potentiality you will not have that courage to take risk so it is the best time 25 to 30 years and particularly 30 to 35 years with the two graphs taken together 25 to 35 years will be the best time for starting your own venture for starting your own companies and even if you have got a job in government or private after acquiring a skill after acquiring the required uh, uh, experience you can leave that job and between 30 and 35 you can definitely opt for your own and this is very much happening in usa i have seen i have seen many many students of mine working there who work in very prestigious companies like google and amazon and they left google and amazon to start their own entrepreneur and the business their 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 own startup so this much of risk they have taken but it is they, they are not in the age group of 50 or 55 or 
they are in the age group of 30 and 35 and this is very pertinent this is very relevant so initially you can have job you can save something for yourself you can develop your own capital and thereafter you must venture for your own entrepreneurship your own company and you will be creating jobs for others you will be helping in increasing the gdp of country and you will be a support for the nation next one yes sir uh, attitude knowledge and skills this, these are all the three things which are interrelated your attitude must be positive you must have the background you must have the knowledge and you must apply that knowledge for starting your own business and you must have skills also if you are going for a technical venture your skills will definitely count so attitude knowledge and skills all these three things are very significant in starting your own business in starting your own ventures and i think this is very much possible and students nowadays are preparing themselves for starting their own entrepreneurship right from the very beginning they have a positive attitude they have acquired good knowledge of the subject and they have acquired the skills also to start their own business next please Yes, sir. Uh, yes. This, uh, this is a, a picture a slide showing chase your dreams. Must chase your dreams. You must aspire high, because if you will not aspire high, how will you achieve your goal? So this is again very significant that your aim should be high. You must dream high. Day daydreamers, daydreamers. I admire the daydreamers. Daydreamers should not be. this happen they could be considered as a pioneer or would be entrepreneurs next one please yes sir yes this is also very interesting and it requires positiveness in life uh, it is about the which step have you reached today so <laughs> number 1 is i want to do it i can't do it i won't do it means he is very reluctant he doesn't want to do the second person at least is better than the first he says that or he believes that he he can't do he won't do he can't do is better than i want to do the third one is i want to do it yes from this step this is the positiveness in life he yes i am eager to do something i can so next step says how do i do it So you must acquire the skill. You must acquire the knowledge to do whatever you wish to do. Next one is I will try to do it. This is very positive. If this positive attitude will develop, you will definitely be aspiring high. So great dreaming is very important, very significant. I can do it from this level. You have high level of positiveness and you have more confidence in yourself. And next one is I will do it. Finally, you have reached this level. and finally yes i did it very good this is a great thing and this is how the life goes on so you must have positive attitude you must believe in yourself in your ability and whatever you wish to start you will definitely succeed but only thing is that proper planning is required and you must evaluate the risks involved don't be afraid of the risk but you evaluate the risks which are involved and try to mitigate the risk and then you will definitely get the goal i would like to mention the name of dhiru bhai amani you might be knowing the name of the dhiru bhai amani he is a father he was the father of mukesh amani and 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 uh, and one more uh, i am not remembering his name so these two brothers they started they, they got they got the business of his father their father dhiru bhai amani what dhiru bhai amani was Dhiru Bhai Amani was a refugee. He had come from Pakistan after partition, and he was on the platform selling safety pins and, and blades and other things. He was nothing at that time, but he went high. He he he, he calculated his moves, and he established himself in India finally as the biggest giant, biggest entrepreneur, and biggest company, Reliance Company, founded. and mukesh ambani and his brother both are doing well 
and they are again taking the company more and more high next one yeah so finally students i wish a very uh, positive day to you and uh, due to initial uh, difficulties technical difficulties i i i i, I felt sorry that i could not uh, speak to you earlier but still i hope you are not uh, very much tired and uh, listen to me uh, uh, with patience so finally i am thankful to the principal dr biman hajarika sir and the coordinator of the webinar dr sanjeev kumar nath for giving this honor to me to be the chief guest of today's deliberations i am thankful to the teachers and students as well for hearing me with patience and i will miss my uh, duty i i uh, if i miss mentioning the name of dr ak silvastava dr ak silvastava from durg college chatisgarh uh, he is the resource person for today's webinar uh, and he spoke very well he encouraged you very well and he showed you the path how to start your own business so you must take he talks very seriously very positively so i thank dr ak silvastava also for his nice words with these words i wind up my talk and i am again thankful to the organizers for inviting me in this webinar to be the chief guest thank you everybody once again good day everybody jai hind thank you sir thank you shina sir for your nice presentation and informative presentation so before uh, there are some questions for shina sir as well as sivastav sir so before going into that i would like to give announcement for the participants first thing is that i request all the participants to fill up their feedback form and secondly the ppt of the resource person as well as chief guest lecture would be provided in our whatsapp group so now i am going straight away to the questions uh, there are some questions but uh, i will just ask our shina sir to take or answer one question and uh, and uh, sivastav sir one question so here is the question for shina sir shina sir could you get me yes yes i am ah yes i am available yes sir So he has a question for you. Uh, yes, please ask. Please ask. Uh, do you think the idea of Atmanirbhar Bharat is a utopian concept? No, no, never. Can this be? No. Can this be a really in this globalized world? Uh, whoever whoever has asked this question i will advise him or her don't consider it to be ut utopian at all anything new which is started initially appears to be utopian but gradually the things improve and the same initial thinking start showing the results and you feel that it is finally coming through so never consider yourself weak never consider anything utopian everything is possible in this world kuch bhi nahi hai mushkil agar thaan lijiye thank you thank you sir so next uh, yes a question for dr shivastav what is your opinion about our present education system is it skill based or job oriented dr shivastav hello dr shivastav hello what is the what is the question for for dr shivastav yes yeah, sir uh, what is your opinion about our present education system is it skill based uh, or job oriented 
May, may I answer on behalf of uh, Dr. Ekar Sirvastav if he is not available? Yeah, 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 sir. Most welcome. Look, my dear student who has asked this question, I would like to tell him or her that our present education system uh, is not very pertaining, is not 100% foolproof. The system which we are carrying just now and the last educational reforms uh, were made in 1986, about 34 years ago. And you must have seen that few months back only the new education policy has been launched by government of India. And it is it has been launched after a great deliberation, after considering more than 2 lakhs educationists, the new formula has been formed and the new education system which will be showing its uh, it means which will be showing its results uh, by 2025 you will see that skill is skill has been given more importance now rather than the bookish knowledge so acquiring skills in a particular field will be given very important right from the school stage the children will be getting education in through their uh, uh, home, home, through their uh, mother's tongue, and they will not be depending on English alone for studying. So they will have a better grasp of the subject, and in years to come, this bookish knowledge will not be only there, uh, there in the system. Rather, the vocational courses will come up. They are coming up, and gradually, students will have a better skill and better skill to perform, better skill to understand and then entrepreneurship will be very easier. Uh, Dr. Sirvastav is available. He can be asked questions now, please. Yeah, sir. Thank you, sir. Sina, sir. Uh, Dr. Sivastav, one of the questions sir. Answer was answered by our chief guest, <laughs> Sina, sir. So, yes, another question for you. Yes, sir. Uh, why? Sorry. How vermicomposting can be easily done for a common people? And it was asked by a student uh, who just passed degree standard. Means low cost. Uh, you get it? Yes, yes. So actually, he want to know the methodology of vermicomposting. No, no, he actually, uh, she, uh, no, lady, she passed a degree in botany and uh, she wanted to know if uh, vermicomposting can be easily done. Easily done. Ac actually... It's not in a large scale. Large scale. Uh, vermicomposting can be oh. done on a small as well as a large scale. Uh, because the waste product which is present in our houses or in canteen is very good source for their nourishment. So if he or she, whatever the student sex is there, they can dig a, a small dig and put some perithuma posthuma that is earthworm and some nourishment culture media is there. And beside that, the rotten food or the wasted food of our house can be given for their uh, culture and uh, very good uh, vermicomposting can be done in our house at low scale as well as in high scale. In our college, uh, we all people, about uh, 50 staffs are there in my college. We are uh, collecting all these things and given in our botanical garden and we have developed such type of uh, vermicomposting in our college. So if uh, he or she is interested for their how uh, the uh, uh, specimen can be called and how they can be uh, given nourishment, I will give you the, uh, please give me her or his mail ID. I will give the total methodology or vermicomposting. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Uh, so thank you, Sina, sir. Thank you, Srivastav, sir. Uh, 
Hello. Is it audible? Yes. Uh, yes, yes. So, so we have almost come to an end. A uh, lot of questions are in the minds of the participants also that I know. But uh, due to time's uh, constraint, we have taken up only two or three questions. Uh, and uh, now we have almost come to an end. We'll end up our uh, webinar today. But before that, Anju uh, Dekabora, HOD Department of Botany, Dean College, will uh, give our vote of thanks. Anju Dekabora, please. afternoon all. All good things come to an end in life. So, it's a good enough. On behalf of Dean College, I take this opportunity to propose vote of thanks to those who have directly and indirectly contributed to this webinar on job placement and entrepreneurship organized by our institute. At this outset, I thank our CTS professor, Manas Nandan Sinha, and resource person, Dr. Audis Kumar Sivastava. We are really enlightened with your knowledge and presence. I would like to thank our principal for this enthusiastic support. A special thanks to the organizing committee, teaching and non-teaching staff for their unflinching support and coordination. Our heartfelt thanks to all the participants and our students for active participation. With these warm words and a kind message, we move to the end of today's webinar. Thank you. Now the webinar is over. <laughs>